If you've been on the hunt for a good custom ISO, I've got the right video for you today. Because in today's video, I'll be comparing Windows X Lite Micro 10 versus Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 4.11. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, that's gonna bring us to our first custom ISO, which is Windows X Lite Micro 10. This was released about a week or two ago by Windows X Lite. In fact, I actually had a chat with James over Discord. Um, he told me that what he was going for with this custom ISO was to make an ISO as light as possible. Generally, he focuses on functionality, but with this one, it, the, the focus was on making it as light as possible. So I'm not gonna go through everything. Um, what I will just make mention is uh, these are the pictures I had when I first installed uh, the ISO itself, Micro 10. So as you can see, the CPU processors were down to 43, incredibly light. Um, the install size, uh, look, by default, uh, one of his pre-tweaks was to disable uh, a virtual memory. So the install size, as you can see, this is a 100 gig partition. The install size was just over two gigs. So tiny. In terms of the RAM usage, it was fluctuating uh, initially between 1.1 and 1.2 gigabytes of RAM usage. But your um, your uh, distance might vary a little bit because I do have 24 gigs of RAM, so uh, it might look a little bit different for you. Uh, in terms of background processes and window processes, as soon as I install, it was 8 and 35 um, initially. And then in terms of the pre-tweaks, Something I absolutely love about Windows X Lite is the fact that, look, I installed the Bitsum Highest Performance Power Plan for myself, but um, when you go to change advanced power settings, uh, in some of the latest builds of Windows and also custom ISOs, a lot of these options are out. So James actually took the time to put those in, which I always do appreciate, because it does take a long time to install and make these videos. So much appreciated there. In terms of services, um, look, uh, a pre-tweak was that he got rid of Prince Spooler as well as Sysmain, which are pretty much the, the most important services that you need to disable for functionality. Um, I'd, uh, the only other thing I did, because you don't have to go ham on services, um, was I just disabled all the extra Intel ones, which can cause uh, some extra processes to run in the background. Uh, Spectre and Meltdown by default but, uh, in Windows X Lite is always disabled, which is a great time saver for me. Um, I like the fact that uh, pre-tweaked, uh, when you go into Task Manager and go to Startup Programs, uh, everything is disabled by default except for the clear, um, the clear XE that just makes Windows look a little bit clearer. Um, in terms of UAC, uh, that's disabled by default, so that's also a nice little time saver. And then, as mentioned earlier, the virtual memory is set to 16 megabytes, which is basically off or, or zero, which, uh, yeah, um, is quite cool. And then, guys, I'm going to move on to my next custom ISO, which will be Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 4.11. Uh, I'm not going to mention the, uh, uh, my results here because I'm just going to compare the two ISOs and then we'll get to my results at the end. So I'll catch you in the next section in a second. All right, guys, that brings us to a second custom ISO, which is Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 4.11. So um, this is the slightly more functional version of Micro 10, I'd say. Um, the reason it's called version 4.11 is because the interface is Windows 11, but it's based on the latest update for Windows 10. Um, as per normal, you got all your extras, you can change your wallpapers, some information. I'm not going to go over all the basics, I'll just show you, um, just simply put, in terms of CPU processes, we're down to 49, so it's a little bit more than micro, as you can imagine. The install size is also slightly bigger, with no uh, virtual memory, we're sitting at about 4.5.4.7 gigs after you install the custom ISO, which is pretty small. It's bigger than micro, but it is still pretty tiny. Uh, in terms of the RAM usage, it's pretty much the same as micro. 
uh, Windows uh, background processor and window processors, I think it's pretty much exactly the same, 8 and 35. And then, um, in terms of the, it's pretty much the same as Micro 10, but I'll just go through it. I do love the fact that you have all these options in power options straight off the bat. You don't have to add it in um, uh, manually. Services, uh, SysMain and Principula are disabled by default, which is pretty great. Very few services I needed to go or disable. As I mentioned in Micro, um, Spectre and Maltime is disabled. Uh, for um, task manager startup apps, there is one more process that you kind of do need to disable, which is Microsoft OneDrive, or for my optimizations in any way. Uh, remember in the previous, in Micro, there was only clear in startup apps. Um, UAC is also disabled by default. Um, this is the thing I like a little bit more about this, uh, uh, this um, custom ISO is the fact that Micro 10, Micro 10 is very bare bones. The performance is good, but um, in terms of functionality, uh, I wouldn't recommend Micro 10 as a daily driver, whereas it's got good gaming performance, so it can be a custom ice on the side. Whereas um, the thing I like about um, uh, Xlight 10 Optimum version 4.11 is the fact that it is a slightly scaled down version of Windows 10. And it, but it and it is a custom ISO. But the thing is, it's got it's got full functionality, so you could use it as your daily driver because there's nothing that's broken, or there's nothing that you need to use external process for. So uh, that is very um, that's a big positive because on micro, uh, you're not going to be able to access uh, Windows features uh, as per normal. You can, but it's a little bit more involved. Um, and then uh, another big difference here is. Updates are disabled to um, the year 3000, so I don't think you're going to need to update. But this is also just this is just indicative of the fact that this is a little bit more function than Micro 10. Micro 10 has um, updates completely stripped out of the board. Um, and then virtual memory, pretty much the same as last time. A virtual memory starts off at zero. Um, yeah, guys, I, look, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Uh, if you want functionality, I'd recommend Windows 10 X Lite Optimum 10 version 4.11. If you want bare bones Windows, um, you're probably going to want to go for Micro 10. But at that, let's get to the results. And that finally brings us to the results. So guys, um, uh, on each different platform, obviously I tested 11 games. All my games are tested in medium settings except for the, the latest games. I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So the, the new games are generally tested on low with FSR set to quality. Um, and as you can notice, all of the games I test are single player. Um, as mentioned, I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So you might find that if you've got a 3050 Ti or a 3060 and up, laptop your results may vary a little bit and then finally i did test on the latest nvidia driver 545.84 so guys for windows x Lite micro 10 of those 11 games i added up all the average fps and i got to a total amount of 749 when i add up all the one percent lows on uh, x Lite micro 10 i get to a total one percent uh, low figure of 54.8 so pretty decent for micro uh, for micro 10 especially if you compare it to my regular version of windows 10 but with all my optimizations applied when i add up all the average fps i get to a total of 746 average fps so you can see micro 10 the average fps is slightly higher and then when I add up all the 1% lows on my optimized regular version of Windows 10, I get to a 1% low total over 11 games of 544. So you can see there's a there's a marginal upliftment with Micro 10, but the clear winner for me out of uh, these two custom ISOs would have to be Windows X Lite Optimum version, uh, Optimum 10 version 4.11. And the reason I say this is when I add up all the average FPS, I get to a total amount of 748. So you can see it's slightly higher than my optimized version of Windows, slightly lower than um, Micro 10. 
but uh, the real difference maker is when I add up all the 1% lows over those 11 games, my 1% lows come to 551. So you can see it's marginally better than Micro 10 and it's quite a bit better than my Windows 10 completely optimized version of, of Windows. So guys, um, look, if you want a bare bones version of Windows, you can give Windows X Lite Micro 10 a, a try, but I wouldn't recommend this as a daily driver, especially if you consider, consider Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 4.11. You can use it as your daily driver. It's stable, it's, it's easy to install, and um, yeah, it's a very functional custom ISO, whereas Micro 10, uh, it needs some TLC, Windows X Lite Optimum 10 is plug and play pretty much. So guys, that's my recommendation. If you are considering one of these two custom ISOs, I highly recommend Windows X Lite Optimum 10 version 4.11. But that's all from me, folks. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's people like you. Cheers. Thank you.